the data sort tool in Excel is very useful and it does exactly what it says it sorts data as with everything with Excel we highly recommend that you don't let Excel guess so please don't only click on one or two cells specify exactly what you want to Excel to look at so we want to do some sorting in this data so we're going to highlight the whole area then under data you'll see there's a sort and filter section and we've got a sort button and then we've got two little wizards an A to Z and a Z to A now for now we're going to ignore those these are wizards and they make a lot of assumptions so in this case it would look and immediately sort on column A but we don't necessarily want that so we'd rather go through the manual process and specify explicitly to Excel what it must do when I click sort what Excel immediately does is it makes an assumption so it says I think your data's got headers if it's wrong you must switch this off because what this has done is it's now going to ignore that area even though we highlight it it ignores it but what is quite nice you'll see it says sort bar when we click on the drop down it now lists those headers so I'm going to say sort by housing sort on let's use values and how do we want to sort A to Z so must it go C must come first then E or must it go Z to A if I say A to Z when I say OK you'll see it immediately sorts all of these in alphabetical order let's just undo this just to get back to why we highlight everything if I highlight only one column like that when I click sort notice Excel has noticed there's potentially a risk here if you only highlight one column if you do a sort Excel will only sort that column so for example electricity over here which has got a projected cost of 44 Rand if it Excel allowed it the electricity would move up here but the 44 Rand would stay down here and it's very rare that you want to disassociate these columns so Excel here says are you sure you want to only do that column do you want to expand the selection so in this case it's obvious we need to expand the selection and it now goes highlights them all but because it, there can be blank columns blank rows etc we highly highly recommend that you explicitly tell Excel everything it must look at let's just go and see what else we can do so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say let's look at projected cost base it on values and perhaps go from smallest to largest you may have a situation where for example there are a number of tars on that level so we can say add another level so once you've got this sorted then perhaps use actual cost again use the values and maybe go the other way around largest to smallest so you can add various levels so that Excel can decide what must happen if there's a tar which item goes above which so when I say OK you'll see it's now gone and set these up in the levels that you need what's nice about this tool as well is it's one of the few tools that can actually look at a cell and look if it's got an icon on it or perhaps a color so for example if for whatever reason I decided I'm gonna highlight this let's use a bright yellow so I'm gonna say I want that 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 and that and people often like to do this the data sort is one of the few tools that actually can notice what color is in a cell so we've highlighted them all we say data sort oh. just gonna remove these levels and we're gonna say please look at the projected cost in this case we're gonna look at the cell color at the moment no cell color is gonna be on top we're gonna say no we want that one to be on top when I say okay you'll see it now notices the color and puts them on top if I undo same thing here now with the icons what I want to do perhaps is see the negatives the reds the yellows and the greens 
So again, I've highlighted the area. Let's say sort. Let's just get rid of that level. We're going to say look at the difference. Look at the cell icon. And what we're going to do is we want the order to be so that red downwards arrow is going to be on top. Let's add a new level. Difference. Cell icon. We're now going to put that one there. So it now knows it must be red on top, then orange. And we don't have to do the green because by default that will happen. So when I say OK, you'll see it's now sorted it in the way we want. And we can now perhaps focus on the negatives and then worry about the others at another time. Let's just undo it.